I have a very important message to share in this video, um, but there's a few things that I need to say uh, as a preface before I share the transmission. Uh, the first thing uh, is that I just had alien contact. Uh, the second thing is that I'm completely sober. I've not had any drugs. Um, I just feel it's important to share that because a lot of my friends here know that I've dabbled in lots of psychedelics. I have not partaken in drugs in a long time. I've been completely sober. I've been living a very realistic and practical life. And for the last probably two or three months, I've actually way dumbed down a lot of the things that I used to be really excited about metaphysically and spiritually um, because uh, I just, I, I don't know, all of a sudden I just started becoming a little bit different. Um, but anyways, um, the next thing is that I know that I've made a lot of comedy videos more recently um, where I even made a comedy video about alien transmissions and alien contact as a joke. Um, and I was trying to make some certain points in that video, um, but that was a joke video, and I just feel the need to bring that up and mention that this is not a joke video. This is 100% serious. This is like 100% honest, genuine experience I just had, and I'm sharing this with you guys because it's it just feels really important. <laughs> okay, so here's the experience. Um, so some of you guys may have seen that I made a video about how to astral travel and that I've been doing that. Um, so since then, I think I made that video like maybe less than a week ago. Now, since I made that video, I've been continuously practicing this and doing it more and more seamlessly. So this morning, just about an hour, maybe an hour and a half ago, is the alien contact that I experienced. I experienced. So what happened was, I was actually in my van, um, there's a parking lot down there. You might be able to see where my finger's pointing. Um, and that's where I was sleeping in my van last night. Uh, so this morning, basically what ended up happening is I could not sleep last night. The energy was extremely high and I just was tossing and turning all night and I felt super uncomfortable in my own skin. So this morning I'm laying in bed and it's about 4 a.m. And I decide that I'm going to astral travel again. So I'm laying there and I do the same exact thing. I explained it in that video, so I'm not gonna spend time explaining in this video. If you wanna see the how to astral travel video, it's below. Um, but I did the same exact method. But something very interesting happened this time. Instead of traveling around to certain places, I simply went outside of my van. So I'm in my bed sleeping, but in my astral form, I'm outside my van. Now I'm wandering around and I go to town, right? I'm going to town doing stuff, and there's people. There's certain people that are out doing stuff. And I basically, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why I, I was doing it. It's kind of funny, but I was being kind of like a prankster and going around and doing funny stuff and like poking people. And it was hard to understand if it was really happening or not, but I was able to do certain things like moving objects and things like this. So I was moving things around and being kind of a prankster. And then this woman, she turns and she looks directly dead in my eyes and she sees me. And she says, oh my gosh, Nathan. And I said, you can see me? And she, and she said, Yes. <laughs> and I said, can, can everybody see me? And she sat down with a great deal of importance. Her energy was just something else. She sat down with this serious feeling of importance. And I just was frozen to sit there and listen to what she had to say. And she said that everything that I was doing is actually affecting people. And then she said, <laughs> as... She, <laughs> I, I don't really know how to explain this. Um, her face started to morph from being like a human person face that I had seen to like an old, ancient woman, but alien-like, but also somewhat human-looking. 
Very, very, very interesting. But just the way she looked struck so much panic in me for some reason. My whole body, the vibration, like everything was just like in a freak out mode. And she said to me, she said, Nathan, you have a gift that's been passed down from the Pleiadians to you. And she continued, like she's about to continue, but this panic that I felt from her face morphing into an alien ancient woman while she was telling me that I have this gift from the Pleiadians and she was about to tell me, she started to tell me more about this prophecy and as she began to tell me more information, I was freaking out so much that I launched back to my body. Now I explained this in my previous astral travel video that when I experience lots of fear in this dimension of things where I'm moving around, flying around and stuff, when I feel panic and I feel fear, it launches me back to my body. So I was instantly launched back to my body and I actually felt myself and I was holding um, Ruby, who's my life partner, who sleeps in the bed with me, right? So we were snuggling and I could feel that she was asleep. I was still in this kind of paralyzed state and my mind was panicking. My heart was like just jumping and racing with all this energy. And I could feel Ruby's body on mine. And so I said to myself, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> like, why would I freak out? Like, like this, this being was just about to share some extremely important information with me. So I'm laying there. And I decide, I want to go back. I want to go back. And as soon as I decided in that instant that I wanted to go back and receive the rest of what she wanted to tell me, I started to hear beeping in my ear. In this ear, excuse me, I started to hear beeping. Beeping that sounds like exactly like something that you'd imagine from a submarine set in a movie where it's like beep, 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 beep. Is like it's like Morse code or something, which I don't know because I don't speak Morse code. But like that's what it reminded me of. Okay, this is happening in my ear. Well, in the other ear, I start to hear this high pitched frequency that is just like the most anxiety filled energy that I've ever felt. <laughs> I'm hearing beep 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 beep. So I start singing like, okay, okay, what is going on? How do I receive the information from this transmission? And then I had this moment of awareness where I realized that I was listening to my thoughts and fear. And if I wanted to receive the transmission and the rest of it, I needed to listen to the transmission. So I stopped listening to my thoughts and the fear and I started listening to that beeping sound. And instantly I was sucked into a vacuum is the best way I can explain it. I was sucked into a vacuum and it was the exact same effect as going into the astral, astral realm where I sit up and roll out of my body, essentially. It was like this, but it was me rolling into what I can only explain as another timeline, which I'm about to express to you. So I roll into this dimension and this beeping is still happening and this high frequency is still happening. And simultaneously, I'm receiving all of these downloads and information. of <laughs> it was a lot but what ended up happening is that in this other timeline which I'm going to explain in a second when I rolled into it like sucked into this vacuum into this new timeline I was back at my body for some reason with Ruby in the same exact position I could feel her but Suddenly she was waking up and she was crying and she was freaking out and she was saying Nathan Oh my gosh, Nathan. Oh my gosh. And she was panicking and I was levitating into the air <laughs> I was levitating into the air and it felt like my skin was melting off of my body is this kind of sensation It's really hard to explain and Ruby's panicking and freaking out. And I'm, and I'm trying to comfort her while I'm simultaneously freaking out and levitating in the air. 
and I'm telling her, Ruby, it's just the aliens, like, don't worry. Some of you might think that's a funny thing to say, like, how's that going to calm someone down? Well, Ruby is my life partner, and she knows a lot about the experiences that I've had with extraterrestrials, and she knows that they're my friends. So that was my way of telling her, like, it's fine, it's just the aliens, right? Something's happening. And she continued to freak out, and suddenly it was as if, if she was just, she couldn't handle it. It was going to kill her, was this feeling that I had. It's hard to explain. I don't really think it was going to kill her, but again, I started listening to the fear and panic. So I started fighting it. I started fighting what was happening, and I, like, pushed. It's hard to explain. I was, like, pushing with my energy, and I was sucked back into this vacuum. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and I'm shaking Ruby on the bed. Ruby, 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 are you okay? And she sits up, and she's like, what is going on? And she tells me I just woke her up from a totally unrelated dream. And I'm in tears. <laughs> explaining this to her and she has no recollection of it so here's the thing I know this all sounds pretty far out but here I am making a video on YouTube about it anyways <laughs> it's the Pleiadians and what I've been doing is apparently not astral travel. What I've been doing is not astral travel. It's an ability that's been passed down from the Pleiadians to me. And it's the ability to literally roll out of timelines into other timelines. But every time I'm doing this, I'm affecting all kinds of things that I don't necessarily have an understanding of on this level. Me going around and messing with people or doing things or whispering little ideas in people's ears and stuff while they're laying in bed sleeping is actually affecting things. And this is why I was contacted is to be let known that what I'm doing is not a dream. It's not a lucid dream. It's not even astral travel. It's something else that I don't understand and I need to be aware of that. So, I don't know. Does anybody have anything to say about this? <laughs> I just, this next part that I'm going to share with you was what was integrated into me during this like levitation with this beeping and this ringing. So bear in mind, this wasn't the actual alien in front of me telling me this, whereas the alien was in front of me telling me that this is a gift that's been given to me by the Pleiadians and started to begin to explain a little bit of this prophecy stuff to me, which I'm not going to express here. This next part is... It's like information that just activates and awakens within you. And I don't know how to explain it. But it's just this feeling and this knowing. And I just feel incredibly driven to tell you that you are special. If you're here right now with me in this video, if you're anywhere right now, you are special. There's a lot more going on than just what we've been walking around thinking and believing. And it's not a conspiracy that people are against you or trying to oppress you. You've just forgotten how amazing you are. And that everything that you've been experiencing, everything that is opposing forces against you, is not real. It is your own reflection because you have forgotten You've forgotten who you really are. No one is against us. No one's trying to keep us down. The Pleiadian prophecy is real. And I'm absolutely mind blown because all this stuff was stuff I just pushed away. And it seems like it doesn't matter what I do. This alien stuff does not leave me alone. Everywhere I go, I'm having all these crazy alien experiences. And I don't know why because I never asked for this. At least on this level, right? 
the Pleiadian prophecy is real, but our human egos and the people who have been talking about it for a long time, a lot of it has been misconstrued. There's no one against us that we have to fight against. There is no battle. There is none of this. Everything that we're experiencing in this dimension of our experience on this timeline right now is simply a manifestation of you inside of yourself. You're oppressing yourself. You're not allowing yourself to remember who you are and how amazing you are and how special you are and how magical and infinite you are. That's why we experience all these manifestations of things happening against us. That's why we experience all this conflict. It's happening within us. Now this is information that I've shared subtly over many videos that are things that have awoken within me throughout my spiritual journey here. But this is a direct message that I received that I was informed to tell my friends. And as soon as I got up and I knew that Ruby was okay and that I'd shifted back to this timeline and version of reality, which is again, it's significantly challenging to explain. You're my friends. And I just, I know it's hard, you know, I don't want, I don't want my, my family and my parents and stuff to think that I'm nuts. But this stuff is really happening, you know? It, it's, this is seriously happening. And sometimes I don't know what to do because I feel like there are people on YouTube, for example, who believe me and, and listen and it resonates with them or they at least hold space with me and assume I'm going through something. But sometimes I just don't know what to do because it feels like all this stuff is happening in my, in my reality. And I feel sometimes like I don't have people to relate to about it. And sometimes I feel like I'm flying a spaceship and other people are riding on bicycles. And it's challenging because... It's hard to explain. Um, but anyways, I'm not over here feeling sorry for myself or judging other people for not having ridiculously strange experiences. That's not the point. The point is that be ready. That's the message. Be ready. And you don't need me to tell you what that means. Just be ready allow yourself to remember what that means. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys for the next video.